Previously, we went for our first sail, and now had the time come to move her from the old harbor to the new one. This is a trip we can make easily on a day. There's only one obstacle, and that's this bridge. A bridge is usually not a problem, only this bridge opens once an hour and you have to make an appointment 4 hours in advance. So we contacted the bridge master and asked for a bridge opening, but his reply was a bit Gandalf like. You shall not pass! Well, it was not that aggressive, but the meaning was the same. They were doing maintenance on the bridge, so it could not open for at least 2 weeks. And when finally the maintenance was done, we made an appointment for the first bridge opening and went our merry way. The weather forecast had predicted a cold and cloudy day and for once they were right. It was typically Dutch weather and for whom who is not familiar with Dutch weather, it translates best in grey and miserable. But we didn't care about the weather being miserable. For us it was all a big adventure. The only thing that was on our mind was being on time for this first bridge. Earlier that week we asked other sailors how long would it take us, but they could only give us fake advice. And the specification that came with the boat couldn't give us more clarity on the matter. It states that our motor is equivalent to 25 horses, but the boat and the motor are 40 years old and I do not know how many of those horses did escape in those years. Finally, we decided it will take us under two hours. Chances are that we are a bit early then, but better waiting and be early than late and making a new appointment. When we arrived at the bridge, we did it under an hour and we had plenty of time to make a fresh cup of coffee, lean down and watch the morning traffic rushing from one to the other side of the river. The moment we had been waiting for the last month did now become a reality and we could cross this bridge from our list and sail into calmer waters. It was a really nice change to the with big container ships infested Holland's Deep. So we waved the bridge master goodbye and continued our journey. The clouds disappeared and the sun started shining, so now we can definitely conclude that the weather forecasters are always wrong. But in this case we are not complaining and did enjoy the scenery. Everything was peace and pie till that moment. And then our head navigator noticed that there was something wrong with the map. Some of the lateral markings were missing in real life. And to be specific, the markings that marked the 2 meter depth border were not there. But the problem was that we planned a shorter route outside of the main channel. Later we learned that in winter time they removed those smaller markings from the waterway. So our trusty navigator maneuvered us back to the main channel and everything was safe again. Earlier than expected we arrived at a new harbor and with the use of public transportation the new challenge started of getting our car back from the old harbor. After 4 hours in public transportation, we drove back in half an hour and went straight to bed. The rest of the weekend we spent sailing.
Have a nice day. And we hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.